Sorry, Tom. I remember when all the big names used to want to get on anonymous team in the 5v5. Yo, they used to DM me. And you know, this was, this was so amazing. You can look over people, dog, and then one day, you see them, they be running shit. You know, like white chocolate, that you famous, you're famous and all them people, like, you turn them people down. That's why you have to be careful who you turn down in, in, in life. Not just 2K in life. That the person you turn down could be the next millionaire. Or the next highly successful, JG. The next highly successful business. I wanted to throw a oop so bad. The shot. So you maxed out 85 to start? Yeah. I mean, I buy VC. I ain't playing uh, the teamwork. The D. There you go. Good bounce pass. That's the first time. Good, my bad. Good D. First time I seen somebody use the bounce pass, correct? Wow, they changed our shit. Rebound, I'm giving it to me. I'm going under. I could have stopped. JD. I hide they ball. If I threw a oot and it didn't get to the man that I threw it to, how is they ball? The pass. Good, good teamwork. Switch it. Yep. Good jump. Okay, cut. You got odds. That's a bad shot. Mm. That's a tough hit, bro. JD stop at the wing. K go through. Good pass. Patient. Good shot, K. Damn, bro. Why they doing that though in the like we on a win streak? Why would they change our shit? I did it again. We change courts. I think it's whoever steps on first. Ah. Uh. Good D, good D. All right, let me hit the right icon. Rebound, he's giving it to me. That's definitely off. Good D. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him go. JD, send me a pick. Pop left. 
the pass. Just steal. <laughs> Good pass. That's a good shot, good jump. Why do y'all come beating the shit out of me? Got a game up next to. Damn. I can slap me upside the head right now. Wow. Good defense. So what? Uh uh. The show basket. JG. Damn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, he can. He can end it. <laughs> We got it. We got numbers. Man, that's the second time they can end it. They got it. We got it. Lucky again. <laughs> 2K is punishing these boys. They can't shoot, dog. <laughs> too. <laughs> 2K is punishing people, bro. You ain't. You can't shoot. You can't shoot. <laughs> Try to sell it. Yo, that's the second time they happened. Damn, boy. You can't shoot. You can't shoot, man. Simple as that. Nicholas Henry says, economy only benefit the top percent. The economy will only benefit the top 5%. Nicholas Henry, I like your bow tie, so I'm going to tell you this. There is literally 1,700, 17, 1,700 new millionaires every single day. Once a day, when the clock strikes 12, there are 1,700 new millionaires minted every day single day look it up it is a fact look it up it is a fact you have to get out of the victim olympics and thinking that somebody is going to do something for you it is up to you most millionaires are first generation millionaires it is not wealth that is passed down to them you have to get out of the matrix sir you have to wake up and realize that it is an opportunity out, outside for you that you have and you are blessed to be in this country. I know people like to talk stuff about America, but I'm just telling you, you are blessed to be in this country. That means that if you reduce the self-inflicted wounds, no more car notes that you can't afford. No more over insurance. No more buying things to impress people that don't even care about you. No more credit card debt. No more Klarna. No more afterpay. No more over shopping. No more simping for these women and spending money on people that don't even care nothing about you. No more of anything that does not benefit you. You put your head down. You go back and you reduce your expenses. You make the sacrifice. You then are intentional with your investments and then you limit the people around you that's going to have you crashing out 
you too can be a millionaire. And then the question that we will be having or the conversation that we will be having is not how dusty somebody is, but how can you reduce the amount of money that you have to give over to the federal government in taxes? That is the conversation that I have with my friends. Hey, man, what did you do? What's your tax strategy? How are you moving? What kind of business you starting? How did you get your write offs? What is going the conversation need to change? But I can't get you into the room. It's almost like I'm giving game for no reason. Because if you can't execute on it, if you can't execute on it, what is the point of me bringing you along into the conversation? I, I get so frustrated on a regular basis. Honest to God, I get so frustrated on a regular basis. And it's because I have so many different things that I can give you. I'll probably forget more than I'll ever exert out here. I have a wealth of knowledge, a lifetime of knowledge in my head from lived experiences and things that I can actually execute on. But it doesn't make a difference if I give you all of the game because you can't walk through the door anyway. You can't even get up the steps. If you can't get up the steps, why would I give you the key to the door? Think about that for a minute. If you can't get up the steps, why would I give you the keys to the door? Is no point. Is no point. First, you got to change your mindset. Then you have to let your mindset translate into your circumstances. Once you start to get rid of the, the noise and you start to not have self-inflicted wounds, and you start to surround yourself with people that can add value into your life, and you start becoming more informed, you'll start making better decisions, then you'll start reducing your lifestyle, which then translates into you being, being able to have more, more money to invest. And then what happens after that is you get rich. When you get rich, the conversations change. When you save your first 5,000, 10,000, when you save your money, when you actually stack a 10 ball, because we spend a 10 ball and we don't even realize that we spend it. We spend it on food. We spend it on trash. We spend it on hoes. We spend it in a strip club. We spend it on bottles. We spend it on nothing. We spend it on Jordans. You got a 10 ball in your closet right now. We we'll spend a When you save that 10 ball, and then if somebody say, hey, man, let me get that 10 ball in order to be able to, you be like, oh, no. You start clutching your pearls. You know why? Because that's my 10, and that 10 means something to me. So now that 10 is 10,000 employees that I need to go out there and work because I'm never touching the principal. The only thing that I want is the interest back. The 10 got to go and make me another 10 in order for me to spend that 10 because that's my 10, and I want that 10 working for me 100% of the time. It means more to you when you got to work for it. And that's why we don't value anything. We don't value money. We don't value relationships because we didn't have to do nothing to get it. And that's why credit is so dangerous. Credit is also a mindset. Credit is a, it's not just points. It's not the points. It's the fact that they understand psychologically. I know because I've read the studies and they distribute it to us in my corporate job because that's what I do for a living. The studies show that you're more likely to spend more money when you do it with a credit card because it's not real. It's the same psychological process that they leverage in inside of casinos. The reason that they got you exchanging money for chips is because we don't value the chips as much as the money that we had to trade in our time in order to acquire. That's why it's important not only to have the information but also change your mindset. The mindset then translate because the knowledge with the wisdom then gives you all of the results. That's why you can't just have faith without the works. The works without faith is dead. And so the mindset, right, you can have all of the faith in the world, but then the works actually makes it translate into something that's tangible because the works is actually showing that your mindset has changed. Your faith, because how can you say you got the faith of a mustard seed, but you're not executing on the, on the vision that we've given you? You got to change your mindset. Anytime I see a negative Nancy or anytime I see somebody say, oh, man, it's only going to benefit the rich people. Well, I'll be thinking to myself, if that be true, which it's not. But if that be true, how can I be one of the ones that it benefit? I'm, that guy over there, he's not as smart as me. He's not. He don't work harder than me. Man, look, look, look. When I see these content creators, right? And the reason that I've gotten to the point that I've gotten into is because I was saying to myself, I would look at these content He's not better than me. He's not better than me. And it's no hate on him, but it's a litmus test. I'm gauging myself against the person that I'm chasing so that I know how far I got to run or how hard I got to run or how much more I got to train. I can't catch him if he working harder than me.
and I talk to people on the phone all the time, and this is one of the coaching calls that I was having the other day. I said, bro, I'm 42, you 32. He said, yeah. I said, but I'm working harder than you, and my personal expenses is less than yours, so what makes you think that you're going to catch me? I make better decisions than you. I'm more intentional. I work harder than you and I'm more consistent. And my personal expenses is less than yours. What you think that the two fairy going to come and give it to you? What you waiting on a handout? What you a Democrat? You waiting on them to give you something? You waiting on them to hook you up? I was never interested in a STEMI check. I don't need your STEMI check. I'm not interested. I'm interested in being the one to distribute the bonuses, not the one that get it. I don't need your bonus. I'm the person that's trying to get it. Because if I'm giving you a bonus, that means that I've made exponentially more. And that's why I'm sharing the wealth. You have to change your mindset. The, ri the, the minute that we get these people out of this liberal mindset, you have the greatest opportunity on the face of this earth. You're freer than you've ever been. You have the options to do what you want to do. You can go what you want, go where you want to go. You can get the education that you want. All you got to do is put the time in. I can't stand when people sit there and tell me that they don't have the opportunity or it's only going to benefit this person. Man, people come into this country every single day without a pot to piss in. You're telling me they're going to get richer than you? How? You going to let somebody get richer? You waiting on the government to give you a handout? Since when? For what? How? When, who, what, when, where, why, how? But I can tell. I can tell in your mindset and I can tell in your actions. I can tell whether or not you him or not. And, and let me give you another, another uh, hint. Your girl know whether you him or not. That's why we hold women accountable for the men that they wind up having children with. That's why we remove the excuses and say, oh, you knew who he was when you got with him. Your girl know whether you him or not. People know. They can sense it. They can tell. People have this innate ability similar to, um, what's the name of the avatar? We are all interconnected in a way that you don't know. And because we're not spiritual enough to really grasp that, 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 that aspect of who we are, we don't give ourselves enough credit to be able to sense whether or not somebody is fake or real. Or whether or not somebody is that or not. You can wear all of the Timu jewelry you want. You can drive your mama's car. You can go and get in your homeboy's bins. You can get on the passenger side of your best friend's ride trying to holler at. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. All I got to do is stand next to you for 15 minutes and listen to you talk and look at your movement and see whether or not you're confident in a room full of sharks that actually know what they're talking about. We can sense it and we can snipe it out immediately. I could tell just same way that you can tell if you know women and you know business, you can tell by having a conversation. That's why I tell people to get outside. You can tell within five minutes of talking to a woman, woman whether or not she for the streets. All you got to do is let her talk. Communication is 90 percent body language. It's an art form. It's the same way when it comes to business. I know what you look. You don't have to give me a script. I don't need a script. I don't need a script. That's why I'm able to improv and have this conversation and react to the videos without even watching them. I know business. You know, I know everything there is to know about real estate. I know the five, six different ways that most people make money in real estate. I don't need to know script. We can talk about it. I can tell you how it is that some people that's out here pitching these scams and these schemes to y'all, they don't know what they're talking about. I know that they ain't never been in no real estate deal in their entire life. I can tell immediately. And, we, and most of us do. The ones that know, no. If you did it before, I understand how, it, how you operate in corporate America. I can tell whether or not you've been in the C-suite or not. I know whether or not you know banking. I can tell whether or not you've been around the ones that really know. I can tell whether or not you just talking, talking points from somebody else. You know why? Because you him. And your girl can sense if you him or not. And that's why most guys get apprehensive when their girls get around a certain type of dude because they know that secretly in that woman's mind that she's comparing him to him even if she never say nothing because you know where your inadequacies are. And so instead of you shoring it up, you sit there and you blame him for being him, for taking your girl instead of taking your girl back by being him. I know that that's a little bit much for you to take in, but listen to what I'm saying. It's the same thing when it comes to business. It's the same thing when it comes to money. It's the same thing when it comes to every single thing in life. I'm not sitting here blaming somebody else for my inadequacies. I have to become a part of the top 5%, 1%, 0.01%. 
I manifest it because I know I'm him. All I need is the opportunity in order to show you. So when the opportunity presents itself, watch me deliver. Watch me deliver. All I'm doing is getting my reps in. So when it's time to perform, I'm on it. I'm on it. You got to change your mindset, Nick. You got to change your mindset. I'm trying to tell you. The minute that you change your mindset, you change your circumstances and you realize that it's something much bigger than what they've been preaching to you and that you can't have something. It's all up to you. And there's some people that's going to hear this message and there's some people that's going to hear this and they're going to they gonna go back into their cave and they're going to still think what they're going to think. They're going to still have the same mindset and they're going to say, oh man, Anton don't get it. He's so far removed. You're right. I am far removed. I don't even know what you're dealing with no more. I've been so good for so long that I'm so far removed from the mindset that you have that I don't even I don't even look at it. I don't even look, listen. I'm so far removed from the dusty mindset that when I see something big and when I say big, I'm talking about multi-million dollar big that I want or I see something. I'm like, mm, that might be interesting to me. I don't even have a conversation about what is it that I can do in order to reduce or, you know, what I got to. I say, how can I afford it? I don't say, man, I need to lower my lifestyle. I say, I need to make more money. Man, it's this over here. We might have to, other people be like, man, we got to cut some stuff out. I'm at the point now where I say, all right, so how can we generate more revenue to be in our, be in a position to where it financially makes sense and it actually makes sense for, man, I, I want, man, I want to, I want, I want a plane so bad. I want a plane so bad, my own private plane so bad, but it's just, it doesn't make sense. So everything in my mind is telling me to adjust my mentality and figure out how we can get to the point to where it actually would justify being able to make sense for us to get that. Nowhere near it. I bet you I get it. I bet you I get it. I guarantee you I will get it. The minute that I can get to the point to where I can justify it making sense, but I got a different mindset. I got a different mindset. I don't say, why can't I? I say, how can't I? It's two different questions. Two different results, two different mentalities, two different pathways that you're going to take. And so it's up to you. But the minute that you change your mindset, and some of y'all need to get, away, get, get from around these dusty people. Some of y'all need to get from around these dusty people because they're keeping you down. They're keeping you down. I had to walk away from the majority of my family. I love my family. And when I see them, it's love. Oh, we kiss, we hug, and all of that. Then when we leave, I go get my Mercedes and some of them go get in a Kia. And it ain't nothing wrong with a Kia, but I'm just telling you, we going in two different directions. We going in two different directions. I see some of my family members sitting there, want my own family and my own family. They were sitting there whining about Kamala Harris and reproductive rights boohooing about the fact that she did not get elected to the president of the United States of America. And I said to myself, I said, y'all, because they above my age, around and above my age. I said, y'all plan on having some more kids at 40 and 50 and 60 years old? No. Well, what the you sitting there whining about reproductive rights for? How does this affect you? What is wrong with you? But we got two different mindsets. Two different mindsets. The company that they keep is the Victim Olympics company. The company that I keep is the Opportunity Company. It's a completely different type of company that we rock with. We trying to figure out how to lower our tax burden. Do you know, do you know that my family members, as well as I'm doing, and my real family is the bag chaser, so your family is the people that's going in the direction that you're going in. Do you know that my real family don't even tap into me to get the tax tips or get the information in order to leverage it? My family secretly, I have family members secretly watching this live stream right now, but they have so much pride that they won't call me and ask me how I did it or how they can get there. They act like they're not watching it. And then when I find, when I run into them, they'll be like, oh, where you been at? Man, I ain't even seen yours. You watch just like everybody else. And I could tell because when we having conversations, they slip up and say certain things that I said on the live stream. And I'm like, oh, I thought you ain't watch. I'm going to let you slide on that. <laughs> they watch like everybody else. But they too, pro they got my personal phone number. 
is people every single day getting mad at me because I am no longer doing coaching calls for the next couple of months and my family members have access to me and they won't tap in. I'm telling you, it is a mindset. Does not matter who you related to. Don't matter what it is that you do. It is a mindset. You have to shift your mindset. It is going to change your life.